Hey there technology enthusiast. In this video I'm going to show you how sometimes you can utilize the hotel's flat screen TV as a second monitor for your laptop. So what you'll need to bring with you though is either a uh, analog VGA cable or you could bring um, a lot of times an HDMI cable. It probably would be best to bring both just because you don't know what you're going to encounter in terms of TV equipment in the hotel. Now, like with my Dell, I don't have a VGA um, analog port. I don't have one of these ports in the back. However, I do have an adapter, which has like a little port in the back that I can connect. So in either case, you need either one of these two cables. And then what you need to do is on the TV, and I apologize, it's a little dark because it's early in the morning and I'm getting ready to catch an airplane here in a little bit. But on the back of the television set, or maybe sometimes on the side, maybe, maybe on the edge here, is you're going to have this little panel in the back with all these different connectors you know and they're really not that much different than your um, monitor computer monitor that you use at home or at work so you, this one's got an analog VGA port it's also got an HDMI port so I can take my choice here now before you begin what you want to have is your laptop powered on and logged in and the reason why is because it's easier for the second monitor to be detected when it when the computer's already logged in. So I'm going to demonstrate with my VGA, I mean I'm sorry, with my HDMI cable. So on the back of my laptop, I'm going to locate my VGA port. I'm sorry, HDMI. I keep saying VGA. So there's my HDMI port. Let me set you down for a second. Okay, now I'm going to take the other end of my HDMI cable and plug it into the HDMI port on the TV. Okay, now this is where it can get tricky because these TVs are oftentimes locked down. Um, the remotes usually are not like the remotes you have at home. You don't have the full functionality that you would have. Like for instance, I'm in a Hilton chain hotel right now and it's got one of these LodgeNet uh, remotes but the the controls on it don't give you a lot of flexibility for controlling for the, the TV but I'm going to show you a trick I've learned that works most of the time so get the TV powered on and then somewhere on the remote you'll see something either like maybe menu or source or you might even see like TV function like I've got like a little TV function it's usually a little bitty button so I'm going to push that and then when I do that this menu pops up and then I can scroll down until I find the spot for inputs so there's inputs right there, and then I can arrow to the right, and then I can go down and choose HDMI 1, select that. Then, now what's happened is, oh, I guess to get out of the menu, just push the menu or function button again. And now I have my uh, computer monitor duplicated, I'm sorry, my computer screen duplicated on the flat screen TV. And then what you need to do, and I won't go into it right here, is you need to, um, in your Windows desktop, you need to right click on it and choose um, either graphics properties or I think might, might be screen resolution. And then you want to choose um, extend displays so that you, instead of having a mirrored display, you'll actually have two different displays. You'll have a left and a right. Okay, so I hope that helps you out whenever you're traveling and you want to use the uh, hotel's flat screen TV as a second monitor. Thanks for watching.